Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here to share my latest journal. This is a custom order for Melinda and it is a Reader's Digest book that I have gutted and replaced the pages. Um, it is closed with a bit of cream colored sari silk and then the spine is covered with some fabric and then a little lace to cover up the stitching. So let's go inside. This one kind of um, decided it wanted to be botanical. I think the cover just inspired me in that direction. So um, I've used some botanical papers in this one. Um, this is just Paper Studio, but then um, some of these others are Tsunami Rose. So I've, I've used Tsunami Rose and Mrs. Cog's uh, in, in, um, in this book. The journal cards, the papers are Tsunami Rose, the journal cards are a mix of, of the two. So here's an altered guest check that I've just attached to the front of the signature there. Um, some crochet trim on the edges, not too much, just a little bit. Um, here is a fabric flip so she can journal under there. I loved this trim, it just felt real, I don't know, organic to me. Um, and then this page is from a book on bulbs that I got at my recent state sales shopping. So she can decorate up this side of the page if she'd like or um, glue some coffee dyed paper on it or something and then it's another extra spot for journaling. Got a little Edith Holden page here and there in this one. Um, love this trim. Found this at Hobby Lobby and again with the wood buttons it just, it just asked to be included in this book. <laughs> so um, I've got some Patricia Veramonte's pockets in here. Um, I always get questions when I say Patricia pockets, but um, it's Patricia Veramonte's and she has lots of tutorials on pockets and envelopes and such out of book pages. So check out her channel. Here's um, one of the Tsunami Rose cards and I've just put just a little bit of lace on the edge so that it's easy to pull out here. Um, again, one of the botanical cards here. And then in these in this pocket, I've got a page from a vintage uh, field flower book. And this is a um, this is a tsunami rose tag. This trim came from my friend Diane H on YouTube, and her Etsy shop is Pretty Pink Cottage, and she's got some nice trims in there. So that's one of them. craft paper. This telegram from Tsunami Rose flips to the side for extra journaling area. It's just on these little whale tabs, whale tail tabs that I have um, just uh, hinged it on there with. Yeah. Here is a flip and in there we've got some extra coffee dyed paper just fold it up to look like an envelope and then um, this is a Mrs. or this is a more McDonald uh, digital print her shop is bygones cards so I'll try and remember to pop all of their uh, Etsy addresses down below and then just a little vintage uh, definition card in there this is um, just a little paper bag that I've adhered one of Mrs. Cog's images on, and it's actually a tuck spot at the top there. Don't have anything in there. Again, I started to get this book so full. This is um, Sue Olson has a printable for these little notebooks, so I have popped one of those in there middle of the signature. This book has two signatures. Uh, another Mrs. Coggs and I just put a little piece of coffee dyed paper in there. I'll have to do that on that other sack. 
and then this is a tsunami rose and just extra journaling space on all those cards again a Rita flip with tsunami rose and then this is a um, embossed tag that I made and I topped it this trim is from Denise at a tattered dream and then, oh, my friend Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures, she keeps coming up with all these great ideas and then I get sidetracked from what I'm doing and have to have a play with what she puts out. So she has a tutorial on her channel, Wendy's Journal Adventures for these pockets that are made of Project Life cards and then just covered with Tim Holtz paper. And then this is a Mrs. Cogs or um, Tsunami Rose printable here little card that I put a tab on and um, another Patricia pocket I have popped a few of these tickets in here I don't quite remember where I where I got those but they're just kind of in there and tsunami rose and then another page from that field um, field flower and then this is also Tsunami Rose and then the, the trims from Denise at a Tattered Dream. The Edith Holden paper again. Here's that bulb book. Here's a pocket um, inspired by Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, her little definition pockets and I've sewn mine onto a project life card and just made a little pocket where there's again a tsunami rose another tsunami rose with the trim from a tattered dream and then this is just a little card that I made and then on to the second signature And we've got another fabric flip, this time with the bamboo fabric. Lots of threads on this one, so Melinda, if those bug you, you can just cut them off. Here's the bulb book again. Edith Holden. And another Patricia pocket here, uh, again with the... Um, page from the Field Flowers book and Tsunami Rose and I think this this trim came from my friend Jamie and some Happy Mail I believe again a little flip out that was stuck <laughs> here's another little telegram that flips out a uh, Rita flip Here's another um, more McDonald digital and just a little tag that I made with some of the fiber from uh, Pretty Pink Cottage and then a handmade little journaling card. Then here's another Mrs. Cog's image and on the sack with some just coffee dyed paper in there and then I've got another one of the little, another one of the little notebooks just topped with fabric. And that goes in there. Middle of the signature. Another little sack. Oh, I need some coffee dyed paper in there too. Maybe an extra journaling card. So I'll, I'll do that before I send this off to Melinda. Here's a journaling card from Tsunami Rose. One of my embossed tags. And this pink fuzzy trim is also from... Um, Diane H. at Pretty Pink Cottage. And a handmade little tag there. Another one of the Tim Holtz pockets. And so they're kind of floating pockets so they can go wherever she wants in this book. This is a more McDonald image and Tsunami Rose. And tucked in here, another little Tsunami Rose. It's just right in there and 
some of that fun button trim. Edith Holden. Another one of the uh, definition pockets. And um, I've got Tsunami Rose in there. And this is just a tag from some Prima paper. I think it's called Romance Novel. And then a handmade tag. Or a little journaling card, whatever. And that is the end of the book. So I hope, Melinda, you will enjoy this book. And thank you, everyone, for going through it with me. We will just see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.